Hello and welcome. We're going to try this problem together, but first, pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so in this problem, they want to know what is the solution to the equation below. And um, we have 2 times x minus 3 equals 2x plus 5. They give a couple of choices, and notice in C, they say there is no solution. In other words, maybe there is no value of x that balances this equation. Or choice D says there are infinitely many solutions, so it, maybe it means it doesn't matter what x is, uh, but this is always true. So let's look at this, let's break this down. So we have 2 times x minus 3 equals 2x plus 5. So what I might f do first, uh, in most of these problems actually, is if I have a number, like 2, being multiplied by an expression x minus 3, I'm going to multiply that 2 or distribute it and multiply it to both the x and, in this case, subtracting 3. So it's 2 times x and 2 times 3. That's 2x minus 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. And over here we have 2x plus 5. All right, well, I, I want my x's on the same side. So what I'm going to do is then subtract 2x from both sides, right? Subtracting 2x. And here what happens? Well, 2x minus 2x is 0. Minus 6 is still there, so it's 0 minus 6. On the right-hand side here, we have 2x minus 2x, that's 0, and then plus 5. So what's 0 minus 6? What's well, minus 6? What's 0 plus 5? Well, that's just 5. And here we get a bizarre result. Negative 6 equals 5. Well, can this be true? No, right? Negative 6 can equal 5, and 5 can equal negative 6. When this happens, that means there's no value of x that will satisfy this equation. It doesn't matter what x values you plug in, you'll never have <coughs> the left hand side, excuse me, equal the right hand side. So it's never ever true. And that means that C is the answer. Um, you might also get that there are infinitely many solutions. The difference there, what that would look like, is let's say you have 2x minus 6 equals 2x minus 6. So essentially 2x minus 6 equals itself. 2x minus 6. But let's say for whatever reason you don't realize that. Let's look at the algebra. This time if I take 2x from both sides, right, now this is a different scenario, I'm making this up. We have 0 minus 6, that's negative 6. And over here another 0 minus 6, that's negative 6. And we get something that's always true, which is negative 6 equals itself. And since that's always true, in this case, and, and think about this, this, this makes sense, right? No matter what I plug in for x on this side, I'll have to use the same x on the right-hand side, so they'll have to be equal. For example, if I use 5 for x, 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 6 is 4. So this side would be equal to 4, and of course, so would this side because it's the same thing. All right, it'll also be 10 minus 4. In other words, 2x minus 6 equals itself, regardless of what x is. So that's what an example of infinitely many solutions look like. Otherwise here, uh, if we could solve it otherwise, we'd end up with x equals some number, and a and b would be our, our answer. All right, hope this helped.